what is good everybody charlene fx your favorite female trader back with another banger now i get this question all the time charlene do you trade ranges charlene how do you trade ranges charlene should i trade ranges blah 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 okay first of all first thing you need to know about trading a range a lot of times if you're just trading like zone to zone for instance like if you have this level here and you have this zone right here and you're basically just ping-ponging inside this level here you're pretty much like gambling in a way because you don't really know which direction the market is going to break in unless you are experienced in actually trading it and understand what the market is doing in that moment when the market is ranging guys and another word for ranging is consolidating. You need to identify when the market is actually range, ranging, like what is an actual range and what do I think the market is doing while it's actually ranging? Because if you're you know, an experienced trader, you know that there is always a trend within a trend. Even when you have the market moving you know, sideways in a specific direction, you still have something that's happening in the market that's gonna indicate which way the market is going to go all right so when we're talking about ranges and how to trade them how to be profitable with them this video is not about gambling a trading range it's about knowing what the market is doing while it's in that in that uh, consolidation range okay so the best thing to do when you're looking at the market and let's say you're looking at your pair we're looking at GU right now and GU uh, let's say you know it's it's trending in a certain direction but sometimes you know when we come to the markets we see the market just kind of like chilling right it's kind of just taking a breather it's not really moving anywhere it's not making new highs it's not making new lows it's just kind of just vibing in, in a specific area right so when you see that happening what you want to do is identify or a analyze the entire chart analyze the entire chart to see what the market is doing why it's doing what it's doing when did it last do what this you know what it's doing now and what did it do after that okay so the reason why i'm telling you guys this guys is basically because um you need to look at the market and say to yourself okay the market is now moving sideways you know it's not really giving me any indication of where it wants to go but is it really because if you look here you'll see that GU was trending bearish at this point in time. Tr trending bearish at this point in time, we do have a little bit like a, a little mini channel going on here where you see the market is moving bearish and then it suddenly just stops right here and kind of just takes a breather. So if it's taking a breather, kind of ask yourself, what do you think the market is doing? What is it telling us that it wants to do? Well, the first thing that you want to learn when you're looking at ranges, guys, and understanding how to trade a range is what is what was the, the trend of the market before the range started happening, right? So before this started moving sideways like this, the market was pushing bearish. So overall, guys, your bias should be to be looking for sales even though the market uh, is ranging, right? So what you want to do is you want to wait for price to come back to your last major high and then look to potentially take an entry at that point and then ride it down and just wait it out be patient with the move and let it continue down now there are some instances where even though the trend before the actual range started happening is in one direction doesn't always mean it's going to continue in that direction in this example here the market was pushing bearish we ranged for a little bit and then we pushed up bullish before we continued back bearish so sometimes it doesn't mean that move is going to come right away it might take some time to actually play out okay so when you see the market ranging in a certain direction you want to look what happened prior so what happened prior before this range here we were pushing bearish pushing we pushed up we broke all these highs here we created a new level high here and then what did we start doing we started creating lower highs lower highs right here right here right here right here all the way down in a bearish trend all right so if we're looking at the market from let's say this point of view right here right we saw the market was pushing bearish here and then we see that we pushed up we created a kind of mini range and then we started back down to the bearish side so if the market started pushing started ranging here again look left what happened if we look left at the, what the market was doing we were pushing bearish so if we pushed up and we kind of retested this level here we tapped this level, left a little bit of a um, uh, whip rejection here, and then we started making lower lows and lower highs. It makes sense that the market was probably just taking a breather, pulling back to enter at a better price, and then continuing in its 
original trend okay let's look at another example here all right we see the market was moving sideways over here well again what was happening before this range happened we were pushing bearish the market was pushing down so if we're pushing bearish here we all we did was come back up and test this last level of resistance right here we tapped it twice and then what do we do we ended up dropping after the market took a breather so basically guys how do you trade a range you want to analyze the entire market to see what happened because more times than not, it's just the market taking a breather before it continues in its original direction. Okay, let's look at a few more um, examples here. Let's look at an example of where it doesn't happen, right? We looked at one earlier. Let's look at another one, like right here, right? We do have a high here, we do have a low here, but for the most part, the market was trending bearish and then we kind of stopped uh, right around this area here. And then uh, we held uh, resistance in this area and then we broke support and pushed up. So this is a good example here because we see here that the market was for the most part moving sideways, right? We were creating new lows, but at the same time we weren't creating, like this is not clean market structure, right? Because if I mark this off here, right? See what I'm saying? Like this kind of looks like an up, uh, an inverted head and shoulders if you really break it down, right? So in reality, you potentially could be looking for price to push up bullish at some point, right? But if we look at GU here, we'll see that for the most part, the market was pushing sideways, okay? And if it's pushing sideways, well, we look left and we see the market was very strong bearish, right? We broke bearish, we ranged, broke bearish again, did another range, but we did not break back down. We broke up. We broke up before we broke down again and the overall move was continuations for sales all right guys so sometimes if that that initial um, overall move it ain't gonna come right after the range sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't the best way to identify that is learning what market structure is doing identifying your break of structures identifying where your last highs were your last lows were and then understanding where was my last major level before price decided to come back down they did break my last level uh where were my key levels where was the last level of support that turned resistance these are all things you have to look for to help you the market guys it ain't gonna make it that simple it's not gonna make it that easy for you it's gonna wick you out it's going to fake you out it's going to you know give you uh indications or co confirmations that aren't always what they seem so they're going to make you the market makes you work for your money sometimes guys it's not going to just hand it over to you on a silver platter it makes you work for it so sometimes it just takes a little bit more analyzing to understand what you want to look for but rule of thumb guys seven out of ten times when the market does begin to range your best bet is to just look left stick with your bias wait for your your best entry opportunities and then take the trade because guys in this example here the market was pushing uh bearish we ranged and then we pushed up bullish even if you're wrong let's say you only went off that one confirmation right that the market was bearish we ranged so you know what i don't care i'm just going off that confirmation even if you went off that confirmation and you waited for price to come back to your last major level of resistance your risk to reward is very good because if you place your stop above your previous level of resistance and you take profit you know at your level of support even if you take a loss the risk reward was worth the trade you know what I'm saying? So if you do decide to take it a different way and you're like, oh, well, okay, the market was pushing bearish. We, we, we started to range. So I'm going to wait for price to come back to my resistance level. I'm going to put my stops above and I'm putting my take profit at the bottom of that, of that range. Risk reward. Very good. Okay, so sometimes guys, you have to not only analyze the chart for what you think is gonna is it's gonna do, but you have to base your trade based off your risk to reward. Is the risk worth the reward? And if it if it is, then take the trade. If it's not, then don't. Because trading, guys, is all about decision making. It's all about probabilities, right? What's what is the probability of this happening over this? If this happens, is this gonna happen? A, B, or C? One plus one is two. That is basically how trading is. It's all about decision making. It's all about discipline. It's about patience. It's about understanding risk management. And it's about understanding yourself and your own psychology to help you better navigate these markets. Okay. So that's basically trading ranges, you know, in a nutshell, guys. This is again part of my beginner series that I have, um, that I'm going to be dropping on my channel for these next few weeks um, there is a lot more detail that goes into this so if you obviously want to learn more and more in depth check out the description box below 
for all the links to my course, to my signal group if you're interested, and also to my broker if you're looking to take the same entries that I take. I have the you know the best spreads, um, all the indices, all the pairs that you trade, fast withdrawals, fast deposits, all that stuff, guys. All that stuff matters in your trading. All of it matters. Who you broker with matters. What pairs you trade matter. What kind of trader you are matters. All these things matter to help you find out if trading is for you or if it's not. Alright guys, so I hope you guys learned a lot out of this video. Please like, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, CharlieNFX, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.